Hello and welcome to another Performance Architects How-To. Performance Architects is a business and technology consulting company that helps companies initiate and sustain big changes in their performance management and business intelligence environments and process. This video along with others on our channel should help provide some additional insight as you embark on or continue along your EPM and BI journey. Head over to our channel after this video or come back in the future to learn best practices, hear overviews, and take part in lessons we have designed to help you. We are focused on continuing to develop this community and we welcome any recommendations you might have for future content. Thanks and enjoy. Hi, this is John from Performance Architects and I'm here to talk to you today about Oracle Business Intelligence 11G and to give you a few tips and tricks related to Oracle Business Intelligence 11G's cache functionality. What I'd like to show you today um, are some basic principles in and around caching and how you can use them to debug reports that you're running in OBIE. The window that I have open right now is the Oracle Business Intelligence Administration Tool. I'm running OBIE version 11.115 and what we're looking at is the OBIE repository uh, for sample sales. I chose sample sales because it would uh, be something that you can also perform the same steps that I'm performing to see the same results and uh, that way you can use it as a learning exercise. Okay, so <clears throat> when you run reports in Oracle Business Intelligence 11G, there are two places you want to look to see the to see the outcome. So first is in Manage Sessions. Here you'll see the uh, OBIE metadata SQL that it produces. And that way you can see whether or not it actually ran. But more than that, you can also see <coughs> whether or not it was successful and also how long the particular query took. In this case, it, this particular report took two seconds. Shows me when. Well, every time you run a report, depending on how you've set up your metadata repository, you'll find when you go to in the OBIE administration tool, when you go to manage cache, that there'll be entries in here. Now, right now, I don't have any entries and that's because I had previously cleared cache. Now that's that's an interesting thing you'll notice that even when you have the cache cleared you'll still have entries here in your session manager because they are recording what you've previously run. So let's close all these cursors and try to run from the beginning. So I'm going to dashboards, sample light, quick start and I'm going to the overview tab. Okay, looks like all the reports have finished running. Let's go back. <coughs> the sessions should basically look very similar to how they were. But this time when we go to the administration tool, we'll have entries for our cache. And you're able to go in and see information about each one of these cache entries. It'll tell you what your server is, number of entries in the cache total, maximum allowable entries, basically all the statistics that you can set using various uh, server related functions. Um, for instance in the WebLogic administration console and in your NQS config any file you can set these various thresholds for your cache. Now there's two ways to look at the cache the entries in the, in the admin tool. One is you can look at all of them you can sort them by the categories at the top. Also, you can look at cache entries by subject area. In this case, there's only one. And also by user. And also, in this case, there's only one user. This is very helpful when you're looking to debug something, perhaps, for a very targeted subject area, and you don't want to um, 
remove any cache that other people may be using. In fact, you can actually go in, show SQL, and see what the actual SQL is. In this way, you can find which particular uh, cache entry for a particular report uh, you want to get rid of. So, in this case, I'm going to get rid of this one here, and it purged the cache for that particular entry. Um, if you want to delete multiples, obviously you hold down the shift key and then right click and then also uh, purge or you can do select all and then purge. You can save the SQL, you can also copy the SQL. So the reason I was able to do uh, to get these cache entries is because in sample sales uh, my various tables had settings here, cacheable, and cache never expires. Which, by the way, is really not a good setting. <laughs> you should um, choose to have a, pr a cache persistence time, uh, something similar to uh, eight hours or at least one day. Right? That's, that's a much better practice. But <clears throat> the reason I was able to get the cache entries was because this was checked. And just to do that a little bit slower, I had gone to uh, my particular database, to a particular table, right clicked, and then I, um, I double clicked, sorry, and then I went and looked down below, and here's my cacheable checkbox. Okay, so I've shown you one way through the admin tool to clear cache. Uh, I'm actually now going to show you another way to clear the cache through the uh, user interface. So what you want to do is go to the administration tab, scroll down, go to issue SQL. For those of you who haven't used this before, this is a place where you can run SQL, which is metadata SQL, not Oracle SQL, to um, get the output. It just outputs the raw data and it gives you uh, an idea of what the, how the report will run uh, using the OBI server. In this case, I'm going to call a special function type in call sa purge all cache and you want to put friends after that make sure you have the uh, use Oracle BI presentation services cache um, and then issue the SQL and you'll see here operation sa purge all cache succeeded now we'll be able to validate that that actually was successful by going back to manage cache in the OBI E11G admin tool and as you can see all the cache entries are gone. This is a very helpful uh, way to get rid of cache entries without having to go into the administration tool um, for whatever reason uh, that may be. If you do a search on SA purge um, in uh, on Google or in, in the help files you'll also see that there are other <coughs> functions of SA purge that uh, will purge a subset of data. A very handy feature, um, but just just be wary that that does not actually clear, as I said before, the um, cursor entries here. Right? To to clear that, you actually have to use this close all cursors. And uh, just be careful because if users are are running reports, um, you know that will affect the the outcome of of, of rerun reports. It, you really want to you you be best to do this if if there were just yourself or a limited number of, of, of users and, and you're clear to, to, to do that. It's, it's not recommended you do that in a production environment uh, and also cancel running requests. So I, I hope that was very helpful for you uh, as a, just a basic uh, overview of a couple of different ways you could clear cache uh, in order to help debug reports. Um, you want to clear the cache when trying to debug reports so that you're not using pre-existing cache and the OBI server is then going and making a round trip to the database uh, to retrieve a fresh set of data. Thank you for joining me today and we hope you'll come back and view some of our other YouTube videos. Thank you.